Welcome once more to Mathematics Pro. So today we have these two cuboids. They have the same volume but different surface area. And you can use this as a project for optimization. So let's calculate the volume and we are going to calculate their surface area as well to compare the one which has more surface area. So let's get started. So firstly let's start by calculating the the volume. Let's calculate the volume of both cuboids. So the volume, we know that the formula for volume of prism is equals to the base area times the height. So we have the base area times the height. So for our base area, this is our base. So we are going to have 6 times 6, that will be the base area. And this is our height 3. So our base area will be equals to 6 times 6 and our height is 3. So this will give us 36 times 3. 36 times 3, this implies our volume is going to be 108. So we are going to have 108 centimeter cube. The volume is always in cubic. Okay, so let's look at the second cuboid. So if we use the same formula, so we are going to have our base area will be 3 times 3, 3 centimeter times 3 centimeter times 12 centimeter. If we multiply this together, it will also give us, this is 9 times 12, will give us 108 so our volume will be equal to 108 so we have centimeter 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 this will be centimeter cube okay so we can see that both of them have the same volume which is 108 now let's calculate their surface area so to calculate the surface area, if we want to do it a little bit fast, we can use this formula for surface area is equals to the base area plus the perimeter of the base times the height. So again, we have the base area plus the perimeter of the base times the height. So our base area will be the same as 6 times 6, 6 times 6, plus if we want to calculate the perimeter, the perimeter of the, this is a cube since it is 6 times 6, a square, sorry, the perimeter of a square, so we have 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, since it's a square we are going to have 4 times 6 so the our perimeter will be equal to 4 times 6 or you can write 6 plus 6 plus 6 4 times but it's better to write 4 times 6 times our height is 3 so if we multiply this we are going to have 36 plus if we multiply this will give us 24 times 3 so this will be equal to 24 times 3 so if we 24 times 3 we give us 72 we are going to have 36 plus 72 if we add this together we are going to have 108 so this will be 108 centimeter square so in this figure the volume is 108 centimeter cube but our surface area is 108 centimeter square so let's calculate the surface area of this last figure so if we use the same formula surface area will be because we only have one base because Remember that this is open, so the top is open. We cannot calculate the area, the surface area. 
of this top because there's no material was used no material was used so this is an open top so we focus only on one base so we are going to have three times three three times three plus perimeter of perimeter of the base so if we want to look for the perimeter of the base as i said this is three centimeter three centimeter perimeter is the total distance around so we are going to have sorry we are going to have four times three times the height base area perimeter of the base times the height our height is 12. you can use other method to calculate the surface area but i prefer using this so if we multiply this we are going to have nine plus we multiply this we are going to have 12 times 12 12 times 12 is 144 144 plus 9 will give us 153 so our surface area here will be equals to 153 centimeters square so to conclude this we can see that both of them they have the same volume the same volume is equals to 108 centimeter cube they both have the same volume but if we are supposed to construct both of them with like expensive material this one is going to be cheaper because the surface area of this one is less as compared to this so thanks for watching please do subscribe and you can use this for a project a math project